Today we remember Vicky Phelan, who has passed away, and all the other women who have lost their lives as a result of the failures and the mistakes made in the cervical screening services. I am very conscious of the words of Vicky Phelan and what she sought from the system. And I know that leaders are anxious to say a few words, and I will leave it to the leaders in relation to that, but mindful of her words that she wasn't seeking praise, she wasn't seeking our thanks, she wasn't seeking false promises. What she was seeking was action. So, Fogime and Chine, Agus Ligime, Donicianri, Bajor, Susko Nomid, Akna Fokilchin, a Quinal Oscar Gore, to keep those words in mind. Garmila Tisha. Laskan Korle, you're correct. Vicky Phelan did not want eulogy or tribute. She did not want us making speeches about her in this house. Uh, it was a mark uh, of the woman that even though her life, um, her illness and ultimately her passing was the catalyst for so much, uh, she wanted action and she did not want it to be about her to, alone. And yet given the extraordinary impact uh, that she has made on her country, her contribution to public life and debate, her commitment to righting the wrongs that had such a devastating impact on her and her family's life, uh, I do believe it's, it's right and proper that we mark and mourn um, her passing. Uh, and on behalf of the government, I extend my deepest sympathies um, to her husband, Jim, uh, children, Amelia and Dara, her parents, John and Gabby, her sister and brothers, and her entire circle of family and friends. I think at a personal level, uh, I'm deeply saddened at Vicky's passing. Uh, she was a woman of extraordinary bravery, integrity, and generosity of spirit. And and I'm, I'm confident um, that very few people would, be, would have been able or would be able to summon the poise, determination, courage and compassion that she showed in her battle, not just with cancer, but also with the system that failed her and so many others so dismally. Um, and in her decision to reject the demand for confidentiality in our court settlement, she opened the door to truth for hundreds of other women, empowered a generation of people to demand better and forced a fundamental re-evaluation of the nation's crucially important cervical check program. Her passion for the principle of full public disclosure in the area of public health has ensured that the principle is front and centre as we progress new patient safety legislation. And we do need uh, to bring that to a conclusion uh, before the end of the year. Her remarkable advocacy for women has shifted the culture and has made a real and positive, positive um, difference.